All right, 636 now. We want to get right back out to breaking news out of Punta Gorda that we've been tracking now for the last hour and a half. We know that there was an incident that happened, a suspect arrested, but beyond that, we're about to get an update right now. That's right, so we want to get right out to Fox Force Colton Chavez. He is live at the scene. Colton, we know from just a few hours ago that this was an incident, but we didn't have a lot of details. What can you tell us at this time? Yeah, that's right. Isolated incident only involving one suspect. But to give you more information, I have public information officer Chris Hall right here to my left. He's with the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office. Chris, we reported that there was a single individual involved, but kind of walk me through what led to police getting involved with this entire incident. Sure. So we received a call from Collier County deputies advising that a criminal suspect of an investigation of their own may be in the area here. Uh, our deputies were able to observe that suspect and attempted a traffic stop, uh, at which point the suspect fled the traffic stop a very short distance and was kind of cornered into a parking lot there. Uh, we had reason to believe the suspect was armed, so a, a standoff ensued there, which lasted approximately two hours. Um, but I am happy to report that it has been resolved now. The suspect is in custody and was transported to a medical facility with only a minor injury. Uh, did we find any weapons in the suspect's vehicle after we uh, detained him? I do not have that information just yet. As we said, it, it just resolved a few moments ago, so more information to follow, I'm sure. Uh, did we get any information on what possible charges or crimes that Collier County was looking into involving this individual? Uh, I don't have that information yet. I'm, you would have to ask Collier County, but I'm sure that they can give you that. All right. Thank you very much, Chris Hall. I appreciate it. So there you heard it right now. So it is an isolated incident that right now, I believe, Chris, you had said that the road is opening back up. It looks like traffic is starting to flow again. Is that correct? That's correct. It appears that uh, the roads are reopened and traffic seems to have kind of cleared already, but just expect some delays still. All right. So expect a few delays, but for right now, this is all the information we have. It is an ongoing investigation. So Shari and Nadine, we're going to go ahead and toss it back to you in the studio, and we'll continue to update you both on air and online at foxfornow.com.